Hey guys, Dogs of Mayhem, yeah, my debut video here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so welcome to my channel. My name is Tercio, I'm gonna write my name down here for you. So, I'm here, Dogs of Mayhem is here to talk about all that great metal and hardcore bands that comes from the 80s. And I'm personally doing a cut into the middle 90s. If you want some more information, just check it out my presentation video right there. Anyway, I'm gonna make a quick summary about how the channel is going to work. The foundation of my channel is going to be based on my vinyl collection. I'm always gonna be talking about one specific record of a metal band and another specific record of a hardcore band, okay? Or I'm gonna be talking about a collection that I have but about one band only and you're gonna make a nice review on them. That's the way it's gonna work. And after I recorded my presentation video, I believe I had a good idea too. So uh, occasionally, I'm gonna be playing on my background uh, a band that I like that doesn't necessarily fit uh, 80s and 90s as uh, the Go of Dogs of Mayhem is, uh, but actually I even prefer that uh, they, uh, they are active and playing and they have a Facebook where you can check them out, Instagram and other type of social media. And yeah, so I think, it, I think it's gonna be fun too, so uh, yeah. And for my debut video here, of course I have a band for you, I'm gonna show right here on the side. Yeah, there it is, Bastard God, man. This is a fantastic Brazilian band, man. That's purely crust. Uh, you can uh, clearly see that they are highly influenced by the American band Disrupt. Uh, but in my personal opinion, it still has a touch of that great grindcore that we had on the early 90s, too. So, yeah, so the song that you're listening right now is called uh, Imperialismo Norte Americano, meaning North American Imperialism in English. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Fantastic, and I love it. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave uh, for you down here, guys, uh, their uh, Facebook page, and you can check other stuff that they have too, alright? So, check it out. Alright, my friends, so let's start here. Let's see what you're gonna have for our Metal Massacre record of today. <laughs> So, for my metal record, it's gonna be this one here, Sadistic Noise, Sadistic Noise, I'm gonna show you right there, closer. So just before uh, showing the vinyl for you, uh, let's talk a little bit, let's know a little bit about uh, sadistic noise, right? Sadistic noise was fundamental to the Greek death metal scene. They are for Athens, Greece. In the beginning, back on 1987, uh, sadistic noise started as a, a four-piece band and uh, was started by this guy, uh, Flash. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a look on his name because I don't know how to say in Greek, okay? It's Nikos Tagalos, I hope I'm saying correctly his name. Uh, he's, he, uh, he was a, a guitar player, right? And according to the biography of the band, uh, the three other members uh, decided to uh, leave uh, uh, Sadistic Noise and so uh, Flash, so he put his ideas together and he, uh, and he by himself recorded his uh, debut demo of Black in Chaos. So after two more uh, two more guys joined Sadistic Noise, and then they made the classic uh, lineup of the band. That was uh, Flash, John, and Mick or Mike, depending how they pronounce that. With this uh, with this lineup, they recorded the demo The End. So after The End, they uh, recorded their first uh, pressed material. That was the 70 p The Crush of Heaven, that I have here in my hands. But we won't be talking about uh, this EP today, okay? 
It's gonna be for another episode. And it was only in 1999 that they recorded their debut, really their debut album, that was called A Decade in the Grave, the picture that you're seeing, that actually was only released on CD. Unfortunately, on the year of 2006, uh, Flash passed away. Uh, he was victim of a heart attack. Uh, I did some research on the internet trying to figure out a little bit more about exactly what happened, but I was not successful. Uh, well, I think it's necessary to say that the band came to an end. And uh, the record that I'm about to show you was a record that actually was recorded in his memory. Yeah, so let's go through that beautiful piece of art here. <laughs> there we go, sadistic noise. Take a look at this. Take a look at a beautiful piece of art here. Uh, there it is. Oh, so that's the front sleeve of the record here for you. I don't know if I mentioned, but I, think, uh, I, I believe I did. But that's a compilation, okay? That's a compilation of everything that... Uh, a sadistic noise put out there. So uh, yeah, so there you go. So let's open this leaf. So here you're gonna see a flash picture. There he is. And uh, that's the, the, the history of the band that I told you in the beginning already, so I don't need to repeat all that. Uh, the, so here's his date of birth, right? In date and uh, date of death. So uh, there it is. So the record is very well done. Uh, on this side, you're gonna see uh, that classic uh, lineup that I told you, right? So it's Flash, Mick, and John. So that's the lineup uh, from the uh, from the demo, the end. Okay, that I'm gonna show here in the back. So uh, yeah, so there we go. Like this. Perfect. And in the back here, on the back of the sleeve, you're gonna see uh, how the records. Uh, are split here, so um, yeah. So the the, the first record you're gonna see the, the that CD that I told you right called the Decade in the Grave, and seriously, this song is killer. It's the first one already after the intro is called Armageddon. It's unbelievable. This song is a massacre. It's very very good. You know this is fantastic. Yeah, well, everything is great, but. Back in the back in the grave, I love man, I love this CD. It's fantastic. I'm very happy they pressed that on vinyl. And after uh, you're gonna have on uh, side A and side B from the record A, and uh, the, the first record and the second record. So we're gonna have here uh, the Black and Chaos uh, demo tape, the first demo tape, right together with the Crush of Heaven that was the seventy B. I believe they put it together for a matter of uh, feeding on the vinyl. I believe. And on the side B of the second record, you will have the demo tape, The End. Okay, so just, we're gonna close the look to you here. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna show the vinyl here. Uh, so, um, the center, uh, like the center label, it's uh, it's pretty much the same for both records. That's very, very nice too. Like, like this. Try to run away from the light. Putting some reflex on it. Okay. There we go. Nice, very cool. And you know something, people, this record, it's a very, very affordable. It's not like a, 
It's not like a, a rare pressing or anything, okay? You can find this record for a pretty affordable price. You know, and, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I'm very glad I have this, uh, this sadistic noise vinyl here, okay? Good. This outstanding man here, Septic Bear. Now that I have the attention, what do I do with it? <laughs> That's the name of the album. I'm gonna show you here, right? So, I'm gonna show you on the right side. Yeah, so let's talk about Septic Death now. Uh, so yeah, so the first time uh, that I listened to them and I got the record and I saw the sleeve and I saw all the things Actually, I think they were from Europe, but no, they were from Idaho, United States, right? So uh, they just lived, uh, they just existed for a very short period of time They existed from 1981 to 1986 Curiously, most of the stuff and material that Septic Death released was done after the band came to an end. And while the band was still active, they participated in a couple compilations. They released a 12-inch EP, they released another 10-inch, uh, a live one, and they did this record that I'm going to show tonight. That's basically, um, they got the 12-inch EP, the first one. And they added the, the tracks from the uh, the tracks from the compilations. Uh, the only thing that they did is that they, they uh, added more guitars on it, and uh, the vocal he remade the vocal is way crazier than the, than the first EP. It's fantastic. And in addition to the crazy sound and speed and madness of the vocals and crazy and heavy guitars, uh, yeah, Septic Death is totally crazy, man. Uh, the band also stood out because of the art that they were uh, presenting. So uh, all the things that were done, being done on the sleeve, and all the wonderful drawings that we could see everywhere. Uh, yes, yeah, so they stood out because of that too. And all this art was being done by the vocals. Uh, his name is Brian Schroeder, uh, AKS Who's Head. And I'm pretty sure you know this guy too. Have you ever seen this drawing here? And what about that drawing here? And what about this another one here? Yeah, so uh, Pusshead ended up doing a lot of artwork for uh, famous bands. Misfits, Metallica, and they became friends. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna show you here a little piece of a concert. That's very rare, uh, having a septic death uh, video live. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna show here a little piece of one that uh, James Hatfield, he ended up making a, a special, like a special band introduction uh, on, on septic death's concert, right? If you wanna see uh, the, the, the entire one, I'm gonna give the link for you here, all right? Yes, tonight, to help bring out septic death tonight, Master guitarist from Metallica, Mr. James Hetfield. Do it. Do it up, James. Play the game. From the depths of Boise, Idaho, we please welcome Septic Death. And Pusshead had his own record label too. Uh, the name was Pusmort. And obviously, uh, all the material that the uh, Septic Death released was done by his uh, record label. Uh, he just did some partnership with other ones uh, in Japan and other, uh, other countries too. Uh, and, but it was discontinued. Uh, the name now of his uh, record label is, uh, called, is Bacteria Sour. Okay, so let's take a look at the Septic Death record. Let's go for Septic Death now. For you that know Septic Death, it won't be too much of a surprise, nothing new. But for you that don't know, your chin simply is gonna fall from your face. Take a look at this masterpiece here, man. 
Look at piece of fire to have here. Take a look on the details of this racket, of this sleeve. And I want to apologize, guys. I'm trying just to avoid the light. And the next video, we're going to try to make a final way to avoid this. Take a look on the details, all the details that the, this draw has. It's fantastic, that song. Sign there, pull his head. Great, that's the side B. There it is. Yeah, so great. So this record, uh, uh, in my opinion, is the most relevant one that Seth the Dead has. Seth the Dead has. But no, it's not the rarest one. The rarest one actually is the first 12-inch uh, uh, EP that they have. That actually is pressed here on this record. But uh, it was re-edited. So that they make uh, a remix on the vocals and they added some extra guitars on it. And uh, yes, so what it is, is, uh, is uh, as I said, it's the 70 EP. So re-edited. That's on the side B. Some extra tracks on side A. And they have uh, some uh, compilation tracks here, right? So that what makes this uh, compose this record. So yeah, it's fantastic. This record is uh, is pretty affordable, you know. It's not expensive at all. It is an original pressing. Uh, um, it's not expensive at all from 1986, right? Uh, if you want to find the original EP, uh, the one that makes uh, side B and half of side A, uh, yeah, this is a little bit more, right? So that's a little bit more expensive. But the, the difference on the, the sleeve is basically the same, it just has some extra, uh, you can see clearly that's a forest here behind, right? So it's painted on green, there's a better uh, 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 art on the, on the sleeve, right? So that's basically uh, that's almost all the difference that you're going to find on the sleeve. Now I'm going to show the inner sleeve. So that's the inner sleeve here, that's one of the most classic uh, uh, Septic Death draws and logo, drawing and logo. The other one is the is the is another one that I show you on the center uh, label of the record. Okay, so here I have some details of the record, some lyrics and stuff, thanks, and everything. Very nice too. And I'm gonna show you the record here pretty quick. So there it is, avoid the light. So that's the another uh, that's another. Uh, very uh, easy to find logo and uh, drawing of a septic death. There is that's this skull with, uh, with a kind of a, it's a grave, like a gravestone in his head. <laughs> yeah, very good. There it is. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so there it is, right? All right, my friends, so that's, that's it I have to tell you about septic death today, all right? See you soon. Thank you very much, people. That's my first video here on YouTube. I'm here to have fun, and I want you to have fun, too. Uh, so I want to celebrate that. So uh, closer to me, I live in Vancouver, um, uh, in Canada, uh, and I have, we have a Greek restaurant here uh, that's called Mammals, and they showed me this great spirit that's called Sipuro. Sipuro is basically, uh, is made, it's a spirit made of the leftovers of the winery. So from the, uh, from the seeds, from, uh, from the peels of the, uh, of the grapes. Uh, so they get that and they make a uh, spirit out of this. So there it is. Fantastic, you didn't know something? I wanna open the bottle with you. Where's, where's my scissor? Oh. Ah, no. Give up the scissor. Open my hand. Good. Mm, very good. There we go. That's for you. Yamas. Fantastic. For your memory flash. There it is. For all of you. Love you, my friends. Dogs of Mayhem. Ah!